Hello everyone, this is Maximus McCullough, your friendly neighborhood web developer, and today we're going to be talking about Ajax. Okay, and let me show you a little example of what we're going to be doing here. So you'll put an email address in here, and you'll hit subscribe, and it returns the email address. Okay, and this is all done with Ajax. And so I'm going to try to explain it a little bit better uh, for you. I don't know if you've probably watched some other tutorials but I'm going to go in depth in some things so that you understand it. Okay, so Ajax requires two web pages, okay? So you have the main web page that you have your form on, and then you have a processing page, and we're going to be using PHP. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. We're going to start out with uh, bare bones HTML, we call it, and basically it's just a bunch of uh, tags in here, uh, you know, so we can start writing a form within the body tag. So we're going to go inside here, and I'm going to bust out some uh, some stuff, some code. And let me just paste this in here for you. Now notice I didn't start with a form tag. You know, in the old days, you have to start out with F-O-R-M, and then method equals post, and then action equals either self or some other web page you know uh, within here and then you you closed out this form tag and then you uh, put the ending form tag at the bottom all right but we're not going to do that because we're going to do it with ajax so a form tag is not necessary okay now what ajax ajax does is it focuses on the ids now notice i have an id of email all right so my input type is email so I'm looking for email addresses my ID is called email I'm gonna make it 50 wide and then a placeholder that just says put email address and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just have a button uh, you know so I start out with a button the type is a button the ID is sub sub and then on click I'm gonna call this Ajax post and I'm gonna name it subscribe now if I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and save that, and you'll see what we have in our browser here. Let me just go to there. Now we have this, but there's no functionality. So if I put in, you notice it's not returning anything. Nothing's happening. That's because we have to put some more. We have to uh, elaborate on what this function is calling this Ajax uh, script. So let me go ahead and pop in the uh, the script that's going to be controlling everything. And we'll put this in, go down a couple notches. Now, <clears throat> so on click, we're calling Ajax post. And this Ajax post is right here. So this is the function called Ajax post. Okay, now notice the variables we set. This is a variable of HR. This is, stands for HTTP request. And that's what, it, that's what this is. And we're we're making a new HTTP request. So every time you see this HR down through this code, you'll see it here, here, here. We're going to be checking some things. We're going to be checking to make sure that it's, it's all ready uh, to process. So the next, the next uh, value that we're going to be putting in here is this URL, this variable. And we're going to be taking it to a processor.php page. Now, notice we don't have anything in there yet. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're taking this information and we're submitting it to the processor.php page. The next variable is emm. And basically, we're using document.getElementById, which is email. Okay, and we're getting whatever that value is. So if we go up here, we see our ID of email. We're storing it in this variable called emm. And then finally, we have another variable called vars, which is short for variables, because we could have several of them in here. But I'm, I only have it one in now to keep this tutorial simple. And basically, we're taking this emm right here, and, and we're storing it into a variable called email, which in turn is stored into vars. Okay? Now, stay with me here. What we're doing right here, we're taking an HTTP request and we're opening it up and we're using the post. We could use post or get, we're using post. So it's posting to this processor.php. It's taking that URL. Notice the URL variable right here. 
So it's taken that, just imagine this says processor.php in it, and it's true. Okay, so it's that's what we want it to do. Now the HTTP request, we, we put set request header. Okay, so that what that does is that we're going through these checks now. So we want an application slash XWWD form URL encode. Okay, and that's the content type of what we're doing. We're, we're, we're doing a form. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is on ready state change. It's looking for a change. Okay, but on that change it's calling uh, this function, which is if HTTP request is ready state equals 4 and HR status equals 200. What these are, let me go ahead and bring up, I brought up a little graphic for you here, is there are several different things that this could, that could happen. If it's zero, it means it's unsent and the open has not been called yet. If the value is one, it means that it's open. If the value is two, it means the headers have been received, right? Send has been called and headers and status are available. If it's three, it's loading. If it's four, it's done. Okay, the operation is complete. So that's what this number means right here. Now on HR status 200, there are literally a, a bunch of different errors that can happen, but we're looking for 200, which means it's okay. It's okay. Everything is good. So ready state and status, those different things. If, if the HTTP request is 4 and 200, that means that we're going to go ahead, go on, and return the data. Okay. And we're going to grab this response text. And we're going to do document dot get element by ID is status. And we're going to return that data within there. And you notice up here we don't have it yet. So let's go ahead and grab our status div ID. We're going to paste it in here. So now this div ID of status, whatever comes back, we're going to grab this and put it with inside this div ID. So it'll show up within there. Okay. Finally, after all these checks are done, okay, we're going to send the VARs, okay, and the VARs are right here. So we're going to do all these checks, and then we're going to send the VARs, and we're going to do document, document, element by ID, status. We're going to put processing real quick while everything's going, and then finally it's going to, whenever the data is returned, it's going to put it in this status, okay? So let me save this. And it's, it's not going to work right now because we don't have any processor. Okay, so the processor.php is what we need to uh, develop next. So I uh, made a little PHP script here. So you would know how to, uh, and then now my battery is going to die on my mouse right in the middle of the tutorial. So let me see if I can get a battery in here real quick. Let me copy this little script, and I'll paste it right in there for you. And now, what we're doing here is we're looking to see if uh, the, the email post variable is set. And then we're going to take that post variable, we're going to store it into the email variable. We don't have to do this step. We can actually take this right here, copy. And put it right here that's all we really need to do so my objective is to try to make this as simple as possible now what's ha happened is this echo the email is whatever we're going to have it uh, return into the status div id okay so let's go ahead and give it a shot shall we so let me go ahead and refresh this page and let's put in an email address and hit subscribe and you can see that Ajax is returning whatever we put into the box. So let's try a different email address. And hit subscribe. And you can see that indeed it is returning. So this is a very simple way, a very simple example on how you can use uh, Ajax request. And just remember that you have to have two different pages. And I will put all this code on AOM Website Pro underneath uh, this uh, particular blog post. So it'll help you get started. And, you can, and we'll continue to develop this a little bit further 
uh, you know, in fact, having processor send an email, have processor enter into a database, and so on and so forth. But this was a good little lesson to get you started so we could get on, get on to the next lessons. And if you're subscribed, you'll be able to get those lessons as I pop them out. This is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope this uh, Ajax lesson was beneficial to you. I'll see you on the next video.